Uh, two words, man. Easy A. So easy. Hey, Lewis. Thanks for helping me with physics. No problem. Just remember, do the hard questions first and the easy questions after, okay? It's more efficient that way. And plus, it'll help you. Got any plans for the weekend? Oh, no, no. You know, it's just home for all six classes, so I was getting really busy. Sanchez is always working. Hey, well, Spielberg hit him out, but Lisa didn't quit. See you guys. After a year or so, let me just come up with a step up. It moved things forward for me and made me think about it a lot. I know this isn't the most hilarious way to begin a comedy show. <laughs> Keep it together. Just concentrate, please. <sighs> okay, so what, what are you. Uh, Charlie? Why so glum, chum? Scared of ghosts. What are you doing here? Funny, I was actually asking myself the same question. Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, this can't be happening. I thought it was over the imaginary friend stuff years ago. I'm not sure, not now. I mean, you were just quoting Aziz, I'm sorry. Hey, no, 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 okay, absolutely not. I was actually trying to get some homework done. It doesn't seem like you're focused. Uh, <sighs> Look, what do you want? Hey, that's my line. Rude. Look, I don't need help, all right? This is serious. I'm 17 years old. I shouldn't even be talking to you, okay? The last time you gave me a pep dog, it was all the way back in my hometown of Holland, all right? You know how scared I was thinking of like going to the US for the first time? I mean, you were a smurf back then. What are you supposed to be now? I'm your fantasy. Ew, no, that's gross. And for your information, I am not that guy anymore, okay? I mean, look, look around. I mean, that good house, best fresh school in Orlando, better grades, better shape, and I'm an aspiring filmmaker this close to being a next Scorsese. Edgy character studies, right? Noble cause. To them or to you? What is with all this drama, okay? Is puberty pumping an existential crisis into my brain? You don't answer that. I know exactly what this is about. Me and my brother. I mean, yeah. Look, me and Ronaldo, we begin to fight sometimes, okay? We might not agree on things, but that's what siblings do, okay? In the end, he's my brother. He loves me and he's just looking out for me, okay? Then can I get back to work? I hate to burst your bubble, but it's more than sibling rivalry. Well, I'm all ears. Specify. <laughs> what the? I'm your subconscious, you tell me. I want to throw this you, but I'm just going through you. <sighs> Stand up comedy. Are you kidding me? A one way ticket to drop out USA. You mean to tell me I plan to give up everything I've ever achieved to become a stand up comic, performing in bars all across the state? Like, using my rants about procrastination to make all these privileged nut jobs watching me feel better about themselves? Well, dye my hair and call me Tracy. I couldn't be more inspired. You love getting a reaction. All right, fine. I mean, you got me. I don't get out that much. Uh, I'm working all day, so if it makes you feel any better, I'll try to make more friends. There. But I'm going to help you out. What do you, what do you mean by that? Wait, 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 what are you doing? Oh, ah! You have to give it some thought and wonder, how did this little M&M do it? I mean, the last M&M in the bag out of all the other M&Ms in the bag. All the different colors, all the different sizes. I always let the last one go because it was the strongest, the swiftest. The smartest peanut of the bunch. If you respect the candy, you gotta respect the nut. Okay, okay, stop. You think I'm stupid, huh? St. Luke's drama troupe, right? My mom put me there because she thought it was as crazy as those Broadway amateurs, okay? So, long story short, whatever you're doing, it's not working out. You did get this, though. Oh, come on. Your first award? And last. Give me that. Oh, most improved. You made fun of Oh, so insulting that you're doing this to me, okay? I mean, I had no choice. Can you get that? Man, you love to complain. No, 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 no! no! I, the great ice king, pronounce you as my sidekick, the ice queen. I would just like to say, this is an honor to serve your cause. 
We would go on many adventures across the land together, find monsters and find treasures. Mr. Ice King, does this mean that I also get your powers too? Yes! <laughs> you get the powers of Enhanced Frost. But remember, you can only use this power to find bullies and monsters. Yay! Now no one will bully me or call me names anymore! With this power, you have the duty of protecting those who you care about. Yes, Mr. Ice King, I promise. You're my best friend, Lewis. Yep, that's what friends are for. <sighs> what was that? Just something you forgot. I remember that girl, Millie Thompson, sixth grade. <laughs> we played pretend all the time during break. I remember those glasses like it was yesterday. But even if you're, what you're trying to show me will help, it still just it still doesn't really prove anything. We were just kids back then. I didn't know it was her only friend. Now she has friends and owes you her life. But you're still missing the point, though. I mean, when I first came to this country, I didn't know how much things would change. Didn't know like difficult things would be like how mad my parents would get. I just didn't know, like, just didn't know how things would be different. Just because something feels good, just because doing something feels good, doesn't mean it can, like, bring you happiness, let alone help you move forward. Except you're forgetting that what I just showed you is the times when you're most yourself. No, you know what, I just, I'm done with this, okay? Just please leave me alone. You know what you're doing, Lewis? What? You're preventing yourself from a life outside of school. Yes, you may have the biggest house and the best friends and a license, but then what? Who are you minus all of that? The way I see it is just a whirlwind of angst and anger. Maybe you should just take time to look at yourself for once. Maybe you're right. I mean, childhood had its moments. I, I never regretted like making Millie feel less lonely. Just. If only I knew what it is I'm looking for. Something like, help me stop being so stressed and angry all the time. I mean, I just thought stand-up could complete that. You know, it's just because those, those comedians, they always sound so honest. I mean, they always put their stuff out there like it's nothing. I mean, I, mean, I just, I was looking at like those guys and like just thinking, what if I could do that? I mean, what if I could like, you know, make people feel less lonely by like relating my experiences to them? Then what's stopping you? What do you think? The nervous wreck who talks to himself. Come on, tough guy, do it. You know what happened if things changed. God, you're so pathetic. Rip that label off and you're in the same state. Unless you change. I'm gonna make myself crystal clear. You don't get what you want in this world. You don't want to take advantage of what's left. Already, already finished? Mom? Mom? Please come here. Okay, coming. If you see anything, you risk everything. But if that's what I gotta do then, all right, fine. Bring it. Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? I'm, I'm having a great time here and I really hope you are. Oh, thank you, thank you very much, yeah, thank you. I'm gonna start by introducing one of my great friends and someone who's worked very, very hard to get here. Can I please introduce to you, Luis Sanchez. All right, so hello everyone. My name is David Dobrik. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> My name is Luis Sanchez, and it's really nice to be on the stage. Hmm, kind of a good crowd here. You know what? I'm just gonna do a challenge. Ooh. Oh, really? You, you uh, like the challenge? Okay. Well, you guys asked for it, not me. So <laughs> here goes nothing. Try not to laugh. <laughs> Man, you guys are good. Mm, tough crowd. <laughs> 